Info factory track for CSI. The use of resource skills in the shop floor module. CSI shop floor labour transactions are able to check to see if an employee has the required skills to start a job or operation. This is done by setting up the required skills for a given CSI resource group in the shop floor resource group skills management form, setting up the skills an employee has on the CSI employee skills form and then adding resource groups to a job operation. In CSI, a resource group can be anything from a tool to a machine to a unique object related to a business need. In the shop floor module, the resource group skills management form can be used to identify the skills needed to work on or with a labour resource group. In this example, the resource group AS500 LRG requires the ACCT skill before an employee can work on a job or operation with that resource group. In Factory Track, a skill can be associated with a resource group by using the skills entry bar at the bottom of the form. The skills entry bar is used by selecting the skill in the skill drop down, entering or selecting the start date in the effective field, entering or selecting the expiration date in the expiration field, and clicking the save button. Since Factory Track only uses skills in relation to an employee's labour transactions, the resource group drop down will only display CSI resource groups that are of the labour type. The individual fields, the skills drop down is a list of skills from the CSI skills form. The effective field indicates the day that the skill is first needed by the resource group. And the expiration field indicates the last day that the skill is needed by the resource group. When this field is blank, this means that the skill will always be needed after the start date. Setting the expiration date can be useful when a resource needs an extra step or verification for a limited period, such as a new machine or tool setup or breaking in period. By setting the expiration date, the factory track system administrator does not have to remember to go back and remove the skill once it's no longer needed. By expiring the skill rather than deleting it, the skill is also kept as a record of skills used by a group. The CSI employee skills form is used to associate the employee with a CSI skill. For more information on CSI skills, please see the CSI documentation on skills. In the employee skills form, the skill that the employee has obtained is selected in the skill field. This field matches the skill used in the factory track resource group skills management form. The date that the skill was obtained or effective is specified in the date field. The CSI job operation forms resource tab is used to associate an operation with a resource or resource group. For more information on CSI job resources, please see the CSI documentation. When a job operation has a labour resource group, select on the resources tab. This is the resource group factory track will use to determine the skills that an employee will need to run the job. In the shop floor module, when the employee does not have the necessary skills to start a job, factory track will display the message, the employee does not have sufficient skills for this job transaction.